Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to another Python tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about how we can convert Python 2 scripts to Python 3 scripts. I had no idea about this, I actually just kind of stumbled on it uh, not too long ago. But there's actually a built-in module that comes with Python 3 uh, installations and it's called 2 to 3. And what it's going to do is it's going to run through your Python 2 script and convert it to Python 3. And I've used this on extremely large scripts and it I'm trying to think of the only thing the only thing it didn't do very well on was the HMAC module which is for like encryption and stuff so if you're not using that then you're probably more than fine but uh, I've been really impressed with the converting ability of two to three I mean it, it does it well so anyway I'm gonna show you guys how to use it um, first I'll show you guys on Windows. I think most people that watch my videos are actually using Windows. Uh, but I will show you on a Linux machine as well just in case uh, someone is uh, curious uh, how it works. But anyway, we have um, urllib2 and we've got a bunch of Python 2.7 code going on here. Um, obviously this won't run in Python 3. And we've got, you know, first of all there is no urllib2 in Python 3. This isn't the proper syntax in 3. Uh, you can't do this at print function in three. This is improper syntax for a try and accept. It should be try, accept exception comma e. And again, you can't print print like this. It's a print function. So um, I try to throw in a healthy, uh, a, a short enough script that everybody could uh, test it while at the same time um, not too long. It'd be crazy. So if you happen to have your own Python 2 script, use it. Or if you want, pause the video, type out this script. Um, or just type out a print hi or something like that just to get a feel for it. So anyways, uh, let's do it. So the name of this file, I have placed these files on my desktop. I've got 2 to 3 me and then within it we've got Python 2 ugliness and that is this file that we're looking at right here. Um, so to use uh, 2 to 3, depending on what machine you're on, you might have to type things differently. Um, but uh, just hang, hang in there and uh, I'll try to hold your hand. So we'll close out of this and what you'll do to open up a command line to whatever folder you're in, just like go to the folder, hold shift, right click, open command window here if you're on Windows and now you're ready to type in the command and the command for 2 to 3 is going to be the following. First you have to reference Python. If you're on Windows and Python is in your path as in Python 34 not Python 27 or whatever version of 2 you might have um, although I'm not quite sure why you've been running uh, this if you were not using Python 3, but sometimes Python 2 is in your path before Python 3 and it chooses that. So if this does not work, for example, you should be able to type Python, hit enter, and it should be Python 3.4, 3 in some version of 3. If it's not, you better type the full path. If you can't type this and uh, you get like an error, Python's not recognized, then you need to type the full path to Python. Why well, I cannot get out of this. Interesting. I thought a control C or control D would do it. Anyway, if you got out, or if you typed Python and you're stuck, uh, open it up again. Um, otherwise, to reference Python, give the full path. So C colon slash Python 34 slash Python. And actually, I think the P in Python is capitalized. Let me, yeah, so it's actually capital P Python. But then the other one will be lowercase, so Python 34 slash Python. You might also want to reference it as Python exe or just straight up Python. It doesn't matter. Anyway, here's the syntax. So... First, what you can do is you can just say Python, and then you can, sometimes you might be able to get away with uh, like two, two, three, and then Python two ugliness dot pi, something like that, um, right? But it's saying that it doesn't exist uh, on Linux. You you again might be able to get away with that, but for the most Windows users, you'll have to type this. So Python, and you might have to specify the full path of Python. Then you specify the path to two to three. The path is going to be C colon slash Python 34 uh, slash tools slash, um, and actually tools is a capital T, tools and then slash scripts slash two to three uh, dot pi. Okay, so you're calling that script and then now we're gonna pass um, as a sort of parameter to that script. If you remember, uh, I showed you guys a long time ago how you could pass parameters to Python scripts through the command line. That's what's about to happen here. We're going to pass a parameter through. 
Um, and the parameter is going to be the script itself. So Python 2 ugliness.py. Now hit enter. Hopefully this will run because that was long to type. Okay. So here it basically tells us everything that we want to, we would, might want to change about the script. So here it, you know, suggests uh, renaming, which is the exact same name. Then it suggests, well, we would get rid of urllib2, replace that with import urllib.request, urllib error, and urllib.parse. Try we would retain, but we would get rid of uh, this urllib 2url open, replace it with urllib.request.url open, and so on. We would get rid of print x and use the proper, and then we would get rid of um, except exception. Did I? I think I must have uh, mistyped my version of uh, exception. Let me go back to that script real quick. Except exception as e. Um, sometimes I guess I confused myself, but except exception comma e is the Python 2.7 syntax. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll replace that. Let me draw that one more time. Let's just run that again. Um, so here you can see that it, it catch, catches the error, right? Except exception comma e needs to be replaced with except exception as e print string and then the function for the print and all of that. So then it also says what you need to modify. Now, that's all fine and dandy, but it didn't actually modify our script. So how might we actually get it to modify the script? Uh, we can just throw in a dash, uh, a dash W, basically. Um, so we'll just hit the up arrow here. And where we call the script, we're going to pass one more command, but before the actual script that we call, right? So after 2 to 3 dot pi, do space dash W. That's it. And that's for write. And basically, it's going to change our file and it's going to write to our file um, itself. So it does that. Now we'll go to um, that folder here, 2 to 3 me. And you should have a backup. So dot back just means backup. So this is the old file, right? The old one that was replaced. And then we have the new one that was just written. So I'll edit that. And you see it has the new code to it. And this is now Python 3 code. So hopefully we can uh, save and run that. And, uh, and sure enough, it, it does indeed print out uh, the code. So uh, that's it with 2 to 3. Now we'll just show you guys in Linux as well. But Linux will be basically the exact same thing. You're going to just reference um, uh, you know, 2 to 3. So you might have to give the full path to 2 to 3. But in many cases, you can just say 2 to 3. So anyways, if you're on Windows, you can pretty much stop here. If you're on Linux, I will just show it anyways. So uh, let's do that now. All right, so in Linux, uh, here I'm just on a Raspberry Pi, so it's Ubuntu. Um, let's go ahead and CD into uh, desktop. Apparently, I don't know, it might be there. Uh, yeah, why can't we? There we go. Um, and now let's just do sudo nano. Um, Pi to scripts.py and I just copy and pasted or copied that uh, other script that we had and import URL2. Okay, so obviously our uh, indents didn't stick. <laughs> try uh, that try statement can stay. Print x except exception. Okay, so that should work. Uh, we can exit there, save yes. Um, so here I have two versions of Python. So we've got Python installed, so we can run um, basically 2.7.3. Alternatively, uh, we can also run Python 3, like that. So we have both versions of Python here. So I could run Python, um, and then, what was the name of that script? I think it was like Py2 something, right. So we can run that. Um, and unindent. Ah, oh, so it's like some stupid indent issues. Hold on. Let's go back. Uh, so the nano. Oh, maybe it's the exception that causes caused that one. Hopefully that's it. Let's try this one more time. Now let's just check it again. Okay. Okay. So that printed it out. So obviously it's working in Python two, but Python three, uh, Py two to scripts isn't going to run, right? That's a syntax error. So now what you can do on most devices, you'll be able to just say two, two, three, like that. 
And then you could say uh, two to three pi two script. Let's see if we can get away with it. And right, so it's just gonna go straight into it and uh, take its time apparently. Sorry, this is on a pi and the pi is actually working right now. Yeah, so that's why the code's going so slow. But anyway, um, so you can do that and then also obviously you can write. So two to three dash write um, pi script dot pi. Um, so I'll wait for it. Go little pi, go. Little pi that could, as I like to say. Okay, so it modified it. Um, again, let's do ls here. And you can see here is our backup, so it's still there. <laughs> Um, and now we can do Python 3 pi2 script.py, run that, and as you can see, it worked. So anyways, um, that's it. Just wanted to show you pi2, or 2 to 3. Again, I, I had no idea this even existed, so congratulations if you knew. Um, but I just happened to stumble on it, and I wish that uh, someone had pointed this out to me a long time ago. I've spent many hours converting scripts and this could have been much easier. So anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.